the best return that I got on my investment isn't the real estate investments that I made, even though those have made me great returns. It's not the stock market investments that I made, even though they made me great returns. It's not the startup investments that I made. It's the investments that I made in myself. Because for me, the investments that I put into my own financial education have paid off many, 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 many times over. And you can't see those returns anywhere else. And for me, that was first by reading books. When I started my financial education journey, YouTube didn't, YouTube didn't have this level of financial education out there or just general business education or whatever. So I started by reading books. Now you don't even have to pay the price to get a book. Just go watch as many YouTube videos as possible about financial education, starting a business, about increasing your income, about investing, anything related to financial education, go start watching YouTube videos. You don't have to watch my channel. If you don't like it, watch whoever you want. I'd rather see you successful than anything else. So go watch as many videos as you can. You have a ton of videos as well. You know, people should be checking these out. Once you start watching videos and you absorb yourself into this, now you might want something a little bit deeper, something a little bit more comprehensive. And this is where then start reading books. I would recommend that you go out and start reading, start by reading 25 books. Find the top 25 books in financial education and read them. Find the top five books in money management and investing, the top five books in starting a business, the top five books in scaling a business, the top five books in managing a business, and the top five books of entrepreneur biographies. And it doesn't matter which ones you pick, find the ones with the highest ratings, the highest reviews, and just read them. This is going to cost you less than $500. But when you do that, you're going to be able to get an MBA level education without paying the price of an MBA. And you're going to look at the world, your money, and the way you use your money completely differently once you finish these books. Now, once you do that, you can decide, what do you want to do? Do you want to go down the entrepreneurial journey, take the risk and do that? Or do you want to do it through your job? Either one is fine. For me, it was entrepreneurship because that's something I love. I love that risk. I love the whole journey with that. And I don't mind working hard and doing that. If that's not for you, fine. So for me, that's what it was. It was investing in myself. Now, for the people that don't want to be an entrepreneur, it's completely okay not being an entrepreneur. I want to put that out there first because I know kind of the internet makes it seem like everybody has to be an entrepreneur. It doesn't work like that. Not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. Not everybody should be an entrepreneur. But if you're not an entrepreneur now, what you want to be doing, and everybody should be doing this, is create a system where now every time you get paid, a piece of your money is going to be invested. And if you do the math, you'll see why this is so important. If you start at 21, and you invest $4 a day. And you do this from the age of 21 until 66. And you just invest this money into the S&P 500, which is the general stock market. And you get an average historical return of 10% a year. This doesn't mean your money grows by 10% every year. It means this is the average. Some years it's going to be more. Some years it's going to be less. Some years you might lose money. Some years, you make, some years you'll make way more. Well, over the course of your career... That $4 a day investment is going to grow to more than a million dollar investment portfolio, starting with just $4 a day. Wow. So now if you have the ability to invest more, you can make even more. So create a system now where every time you get paid, some of your money is going to be automatically invested. And, you know, the next question is, where do I do it? Well, mm -hmm. this is where now things get fun. You can start very simple. Put it into the S&P 500, put it into the stock market. This has to be a long-term investment where you're not trying to time the market and pull your money out in six months if you see a crash or if you see it go down. The value with investing like this is you put your money in and you don't touch it. And you keep putting more money in and you keep putting more money in every time you get paid every week, every two weeks, every month. You do this no matter what, whether the market's up or down. The only thing you change is maybe if the market goes down, you put in more, but you don't touch it. It's a long-term, multi-decade strategy. Now, if you say, but just because I don't want to wait that long to see any returns. Well, let's go back to the simple formula because building wealth is a very simple formula. Spend less than what you make and invest the difference. Period. Now, if you want to achieve more wealth, you need to invest more money. How can you invest more money? 
You can spend less money, or you can earn more money. It's as simple as that. Now, there's a limit to how much less you can spend. There is a limit to how many costs you can cut, but there's no limit to how much money you can earn. So if you've already cut back as much as possible, there's no other way that you can cut back and you still want to invest more and you want to see the return sooner, then you got to earn more money. Now again, how can you earn more money? Well, if you don't want to do it through starting a business or a side hustle, then you got to do it through your career. Are you at a job that will allow you to earn more money? Are you in a position that will allow you to earn more money? Maybe you have to get a certificate. Maybe you have to go back to school. Maybe you look for a different company. Maybe you look for a completely different career. Maybe you add on a second job. Now, I, I can't answer that question for you, but this is where you just have to be honest with yourself and see what type of life do you want to live and are you being honest with yourself? And then you just plug in the numbers. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's great advice. Um, really all of it. Uh, and so, you know, are you at a job where you're making extra money where you can invest $4 a day? The value of the dollar is dropping. This grows the system. This benefits people who understand the system, the investors, the financially educated, but it comes at a price. And the price is at the expense of regular people. This is why now, when you understand this, you have to change the way you look at money and change the things that you do use with your money. Because if you're making money just to spend it, well, now you're making everybody else rich at the expense of your own wealth. What I'm saying is make yourself rich before you make everybody else rich. I don't want you to never have the nice things. I want you to have the nice car. I want you to go on the nice vacations. I want you to have the nice home, but I want you to be able to afford it first. And right now, the most important thing financially is to make yourself rich first. And ironically, the people that are looking rich are sacrificing their real richness. Hmm. But if you want to actually become rich, well, you're not going to be looking rich when you're trying to become rich. So it's kind of like ironic where the people that, you know, when you spend all your money trying to look rich, you never have the opportunity to actually become rich. And I think understanding that is is really key. What What is the best way for most people to get rich uh, in in 2023? You know, they say that the best investment you can make is in you. 